All right, Capricorn. Whew, a few things before we begin. One, it's hotter in hell. It is hotter in hell in here, I'm telling you right now. So whoever I'm picking up on, remember this can always be reversed and it could be for cross watchers. But whoever I'm picking up on, they don't turn the AC up in their house. Maybe they're a penny pincher here, which I'm not complaining. I'm not saying anything about it. I mean, this person probably knows how to pay their bills, you know. But geez, Louise, that or somebody's just hot blooded, hot blooded, hot tamale, hot, just hot. Like I said, hot, just the heat don't bother them. I'm telling you right now, the heat don't, or they're just really hot, maybe. Okay, <laughs> or they think you're really hot. I did sit here and write down what I'm getting for you guys, but also there's blood on the paper. We'll get there. I'll tell you. I told you there's a couple things we got to talk about. One, the heat is taking me over. I'm like, I took a break. I had a couple errands to run, came back, and I'm I'm dying over here, man. Whew, it's freaking hot. <laughs> or it's hot where someone lives or something about a hot tub or really, really hot steaming showers where they get out and it's like steaming off of them because it's like so freaking hot. It's just hot. Or the AC ain't working or they just keep it down or they keep it up. They keep it up. 70s, 80s, it's freaking hot up in this beep. Or they prefer to spend most of their time outside. Maybe it's because they're a smoker. Maybe they're not. Maybe they wouldn't do anything like that. I don't know. Okay, another thing. I keep stabbing the living shit out of stuff with this pen. Why did I bleep shit? I don't know. Uh, my finger, for example. Yeah. Before I started your video, I went to put the top on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gnats flying at my face. Jeez, here we go. Let's keep going. So I went to put the top on my fountain pen, which is my favorite pen, which by the way, I'm almost out of my ink. It's really sad. It's not, a, it's, a, it's a sad time for me with this pen situation because it's my favorite pen and I love writing. That's not what I was going to talk about. What I was going to talk about is I uh, stab myself. I stab myself hard enough. I mean, these bitches are sharp. It's like basically a shank and I bled. I sure did. I mean, I could squeeze it right now. Yep. There's the blood. It's ink blood right now. Put a bunch of ink in there. Awful. Yes, yeah, so uh, a blood on the paper, and that means something here, unless somebody's into like blood magic, but this could be whoever I'm picking up on, someone who's blood related to you, or it's like you guys are blood, or maybe you guys have a child together and that's the blood relation, or maybe there's a relation to gang members here, I don't know, I'm not getting into that, I just, it just popped in my head, I see bandanas, um, blood, maybe you're the same blood type, I don't know, so I'm going to do blood or the color red, is significant <sighs> I'm trying to breathe here so anyway let's get into the message it's a nice message I don't think it's always been nice though what I'm getting at meaning the connection between you and this person I don't know I don't know maybe not if it's a new person maybe it's not nothing you don't have any history between each other but maybe life hasn't always been so nice to you and life hasn't definitely not always been nice to this person that could be kind of what I'm getting here because it feels rough, let me tell you. It feels like hell. It feels like hell. It literally feels like hell. Um, you know, stabbing myself, blood, heat, sweat. I mean, I'm in a great mood. It's been a good day. It's been productive. You know, we're getting things done. We're rocking and rolling, but God. Dang, come on now. So, yeah, I like I said, I did write some things down for you guys. And it's nice. It's really nice the way that somebody views you, the way they look at you. Sorry. Just give me a second. I'm talking, it's like really hot. It's a pretty, it's a scorcher, man. <clears throat> or somebody likes spicy food, really, really hot food here. Or somebody can't handle hot food because it fucks up their tummy. But spicy, spicy, hot, caliente. Yeah. Trust me. All right, here we go. So they love that you know where you're going in life. That's the first thing. Whoever this is, they, they love that about you. They respect it. Respect is a big word here. They actually respect the living shit out of you. Maybe they didn't always. If it's someone from the past or like a family member, maybe they were in competition with you. Maybe they didn't always like you. I don't. Maybe they didn't love you at all. I don't know. But they do respect you. You might not hear that from them, but they do. Oh, whoa. All right, I'm going to split this message up. Because mm -hmm, I'm getting two stories here. Let's talk first if this is a blood relative or someone in the family, okay? Maybe even was a friend before. And then we'll talk about like a new person, okay? Because I'm getting two different stories. If this is a blood relative or like the first category I'm talking about here, this person and you definitely didn't always get along. May not still. I don't know. You may not even be in communication. I'm not really sure. But I say that because I just heard blot them out of your life. 
Capricorn. You may have sworn someone off or just like, look, I ain't dealing with it. I'm just not dealing with it. I'm not going to deal with it no more. And not because you came from an emotional place. In fact, I don't feel your emotions at all. I just feel like you had to handle business. You had to do what you had to do. Maybe even for your own sanity, for your own mental and emotional well-being, for your own family. You may have had to cut somebody off for to protect yourself, to protect those closest to you, to protect your children or whatever, just because you didn't want them to get hurt by the same person, you know? Whatever it is, that individual, believe it or not, they actually have a lot of respect for you as much as there's also this vengeful nature to them this competitive nature to them. And they look at you as a leader. They look at you as somebody who you really know the direction you're going in life. You're living it. You're living in the direction you want to go in your life. Like wise even. And maybe at some time they may have even thought that they were like smarter than you. I'm not even saying this is a bad person. I don't know. Some of you may be like, hell yeah, they're a bad person. But I don't know. I don't know this person. I just am telling you, I feel friction between you and them. It doesn't feel like they were always thinking the way they're thinking about you now. And I don't know what's changed. Maybe it's just during this time. Maybe tomorrow they'll go back to hating you. I don't know. But for right now, they, they're like, man, you know, um, you've You've learned a lot of your lessons and maybe the hard way. And because of that, you know, when you speak, this person knows that they they can uh, trust what you say because you're being honest, even if it's not what people want to hear. You're being honest about the things you've experienced, about your hard-learned lessons, if, in fact, you've learned them the hard way. I know I have. Um, or if it's not they themselves and they're still kind of, like, prideful, I don't know. But if they are, they're not saying they're really learning from you. They may see that other people do. I can tell you right now, Capricorn, off the top of my head, one of my brothers, I love listening to him. He is so freaking wise and because of hard learned lessons. Like I could literally sit there and just listen to him. In fact, I wish I did more, you know, but I'm busy. I have my life. He has his life. But that guy, I see why people at his job love him. I see why it doesn't take him a lot to attract people to him and everybody likes working for him, working even under him. Most people don't like their bosses, but everybody loves him because he ha he's not like, he doesn't abuse his power. He doesn't abuse his authority. He's He actually relates to people. He's very relatable, but also don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with him and don't fuck with his money. He's a Capricorn, <laughs> you know? And so when he's at business, when he's at business, when he's at work, he means business. He's focused on business. It's business, you know, it's just business. But he does believe in mixing business with pleasure to the degree of, um, I believe in getting along. I believe in trying to understand the people and not just being an authoritarian. You know what I mean? Um, although when he's there to do his job, he does his job. Like people that may be above him would know what to expect out of him because he provides. I mean, he delivers, okay? He comes through. He is very responsible, very reliable. He's wise, knows what he's talking about. That's what I'm getting for you, okay? So whether or not whoever I'm picking up on here, this blood relative or this ex-friend of yours or this maybe even an ex of yours, uh, you know, I, whether they respect you for that or not, they see that other people do, okay? But for some of you, they themselves have begun to kind of see what all the hype is about you. And it's like, damn, it only took you fucking how many years? Jeez. And for a very select few of you, this could actually be a parent or maybe an in-law. It's uh, somebody like that. Now let me go ahead and split the message back the other way I was seeing it. If this is someone new, that's exactly why they really like you. Because you kind of have the same mind as them. They could even be another Capricorn or maybe another Earth sign or maybe... It, it wouldn't surprise me if they were an air sign or a fire sign, like Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because they feel really masculine to me. Um, but yeah, they look at you for all these reasons. They look to you for all these reasons, and they're highly attracted to you for it. They fall in love with the mind first before they fall in love with looks. Although that's a, that, that helps, you know what I mean? It's like, come on now, let's not be a liar here. That fucking helps. The fact that you're, well, hot. Literally. 
I'm burning the fuck up over here. Seriously, I got pit sweat, boob sweat, all kinds. Not that you wanted to know that, you know what I mean? But thankfully, what I do, I can speak how I want. Thank God. I would hate to have to, like, mute myself. <clears throat> I'd probably make more money if I did. Just If I just shut the fuck up and stopped cussing, talking about, well, everything I talk about. But um, then I feel like I'm not being myself, you know what I mean? And I just, I just want to be myself. <laughs> just who I am. So, yeah. They like this. It's hot. Literally and figuratively. It is fucking hot. And, uh, yeah. You have a lot of opportunities that present it themselves to you, or you could. They look at you like this. Um, <clears throat> blood or somebody who's new, or an ex-friend, an ex-lover, whatever. All of these people, we can combine the categories now. They look at you as somebody who could have really anything you wanted. Anything you wanted with the right, I'm hearing management, with the right direction. They may even feel like... You could even earn more money than you earn now. You can make more money even than you do now. Like someone sees your potential, I'm telling you. Again, whether they want to or not, or always wanted to or not, they see it. Oh, they know. They know, they know. But so they see you as somebody who either already has a lot of different, um, I don't know, talents, options, you could do really anything the fuck that you wanted to. It's just a matter of the right people seeing you and knowing the ins and outs of business and things like that. You know, it's like, wow, a Capricorn, they can make lots of money. They could be a millionaire right now. You know, they look at you like that, unless you are a millionaire watching me. Um, so you're definitely being viewed and looked at as someone who earned their position in this life. I got that in Scorpios. Could be connected somehow to a Scorpio, but they know that you've earned it. And not without a fucking fight either. You know, it's been something that's, I keep wanting to say hard learned, hard earned. You know, nothing was given to you. You weren't born with a silver spoon. You climbed up every fucking stair and you've got the cab muscles to prove it. Like you got some muscles in that knowledge of yours. You are really, really wise. You're street smart. You're business savvy. And then you have this personality on top of it. And people know not to fuck with you. Like I got to reiterate that because I feel like that's big here. People know not to mess with you because they're going to get the truth. You know what I mean? They're going to get the, ju they're just going to get honesty like you're not going to tiptoe in anyone's feelings i also feel like you don't really have a lot of friends but not because you don't want to or because you can't but because not everybody's energy mixes with yours and you're not looking to have like a big group of friends that's not what you want you're more like the i'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies that's you you are more about quality than quantity. This could even be a person, for some of you, this could be a person who may even physically have more than you, like a nicer car, a nicer home, a more stable relationship or something, you know? Um, more degrees or whatever. But you may be entirely self-made, like literally, you could be, I'm just going to throw this out there, you could be a business owner, but you built your business off of your hard-learned lessons. Self-taught. Holy shit. You could be self-taught. Well, there you go. No wonder. This person's like, you know. And, uh, but they still, still, deep down, they're like, man, I kind of like that. Like, that's, that's actually really, that's really cool. Because, um... I don't know, there's almost no words for that. They don't know what to say about it. It's just a little bit jaw-dropping. It's jaw-dropping. That, um, well, think of Elon Musk. Who is it? Who's all the billionaires that didn't go to college? 
I mean, not that you didn't go to college, you could have went to college, but you didn't, you don't have to, to have the life that you have right now. Even if you're a homemaker, you're still successful at it. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, it looks exactly the way that you, we wanted your life to look. I mean, all of our lives could be a little differently, you know, not saying none of us are like, yeah, our life is exactly what we wanted. It's perfect. There's no room for change. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, um, I don't know. Like you know how to get what you want, even if it takes you a while to get there. And a lot of times you learn the lessons and then you use them to help you in whatever it is you're pursuing, which is brilliant. Why would you, why would you get the knowledge and learn the lessons just to tuck them away? That's like having a bunch of decorations, which I love by the way, but I stopped doing that. Years ago, I actually stopped getting decorations for holidays. Although I have this other side of me that I thoroughly enjoy that. I love decorating, especially for Halloween and like anything, honestly. I love decorating. I love when I see people decorating. It's really cute. I love decor. But I did get to a place where, well, I've hit a lot of rock bottoms, but where I was like, man, I can use the money that I spent on this decor, $10 here, $5 here, thrifting here, it doesn't matter, it all adds up, to um, sell these items and then use that for something else that I'm going to need, you know, or save up for the future. And then you think, well, what if I have to move a lot? Because it's never certain where I'm going to be one minute to the next. And the dreams and the ideas I have, I'm going to be on the move. I'm going to be going from here to here, you know. So in the future, I'm not going to have room for all these totes and stuff. And I'm just going to stow them away in the attic, you know. Still, nothing wrong with that because I hike you. I love it. I love themed things. I, I love that. But for me, myself, I just kind of, I just stopped. And uh, that's kind of what I mean here. What, what good would it be if you learned all these lessons just to tuck them away and put them up in the attic of your mind? No, you use that shit. You use it. You're like, oh, learn that lesson. Now I'm going to use it. How, how can I apply the lesson that I just learned, this hard learned fucking lesson to my life? And then possibly help other people with it. That's fucking brilliant. That's brilliant. You apply what you've learned. You apply what you know. What you have experienced. You use it. You don't package it. As like... A trophy that you'll never look at again. No, you look at it. You look at it, you take it out. You don't even need to dust it because it doesn't get dust on it. You're constantly using it. You know what I mean? Like, um, you make use of your experiences in this life. You make use of really everything. What do you call innovative? I was trying to think of the word. You're uh, innovative. I can barely breathe over here. I'm telling you. Whew, the neck is sweating. Some of y'all like, it's that long sleeve black shirt you got on. If you stop wearing those, you wouldn't be sweating so much. This is what I like to wear. Okay. I always have to be ready for any type of ending. So therefore, I'm always looking like I'm going to a funeral. I like it. It's just me. So yeah, this is a really nice message. I like it. Um, other than the undertone for some of you where it's like somebody, they hate looking up to you. They hate that they feel like you're smarter than them. It, but, but it's like, why do, why do I have to be smarter than you? Why do you have to look up to me? Why do you have to do any of that? Why do you have to compare? You know, I don't feel that for a lot of you, but some of you do have a person who like, they'll probably never admit it to you that they see your value, but they do. And they may still be feeling some type of way probably hurt over it because maybe they feel like I don't know for some reason like entitled to be better than you or to uh, have more or be smarter than you at this time in life or at this this point in life or something you know like let's say this is someone older than you they may be like well I'm older than you so I should have this that's just an example but it could be like that for some of you that that applies for you're probably never gonna hear how this person really feels about you, but this is how they feel. I mean, it's nice to know, right? That they, um, 
don't know. I mean, they, they see you, they see who you are, they see what you are, and they see your, your value, even if they don't like it. They see it. It's, it's like radiating off of you. They can't not, not only do they see it, they feel it. They feel what you are. For some, it could make them feel a little inadequate themselves, but they shouldn't. Why would they feel inadequate because of your gifts and your talents? Why? Why would anyone? Why would this ex? Why would your ex-friend? Why would an estranged family member? Why would someone who's not estranged and probably still in your life maybe feeling this way? Why would they feel that way? Inadequate. <clears> hmm. <throat> Throat's doing something weird now. They have their own talents and gifts. So I don't know. And for the most part, you're being supported. So maybe you're going to inspire these people or this person, whoever they are. Maybe, just maybe, they will see you as an inspiration instead of competition or something like that. If it's like, again, someone new, I think someone is maybe pursuing you for a job position, could be pursuing you romantically. They're definitely thinking about it. Um, something like that. And just gonna throw this out there before we go. Some of you, this is a person you worked with before or worked for before. Yeah, they still check up on you. Yeah, they do. I'm getting that right here at the tail end. They check up on you. I'm hearing all right. But in secret, you wouldn't know. Now you do. All right, guys. So we're going to leave it there. It's actually a really good message. It's basically keep going. You're killing it. <laughs> like normal, right? Like what's normal? But, well, making money for Capricorn, that's normal. You know, working hard, business-minded, don't fuck with me. I'm focused. That's, to me, that's normal for a Capricorn. Like, bitch better have my money. That's, that's Capricorn. That's what, how I think of a Capricorn. <laughs> but not, it doesn't have to be so harsh. You know what I mean? It's just kind of like, it, you know? Well, you may even, okay, I want to say this real quick. I know I said I would go, but I'm getting something else about you that's actually really endearing. And this is something I really love about Capricorns. The older you've gotten, you've actually kind of chilled out a little bit like I don't know not that you weren't before but you're just kind of like even more sensitive even if you're a man yes even though y'all be like oh I ain't sensitive what the fuck I'm a man okay some of you some of you are in touch with your feminine side some of you are like the fuck do I look sensitive to you but now you're like man I just kind of want to like chill I want to have fun I kind of want to like you know depending on how old you are watching this but you could be at a stage now in your life where you're like loosening up a bit about things <laughs> you know what I mean just kind of and you may f catch yourself man like crying you know not that it's not like but l like here in the near future or maybe right now you may catch yourself crying like getting a little tender heart over here you know you got a t you do have a tender heart y'all may hide it but y'all do have a tender heart although you're not one to be fucked with you still have a tender heart yes you do and you may like I don't know like the smallest little thing you'll be like oh Oh, yeah, you know, you start thinking about your family, you start thinking about your past, start thinking about life lessons, start thinking about, you know, your age. Oh, what did my throat do that? Your age and how life has gone on and all the things you've gone through and overcome and the people that you really dearly love and the time that, you know, you wish things could have been different. Like you start thinking, man, you start thinking and you get a little emotional. Like, you know, some of you are going to choke it down and be like, <clears throat> I'm not crying. Anybody see that? You know what I mean? But if you're really in touch with your feminine side or you're a feminine yourself, you may, you know, just see that the tears fall a little bit because it's like, ugh. You know, because you do. You have a heart. You can be, bitch better have my money, but you can also be very sweet and have a very loving side to you. You know what I mean? A very um, kind side. Yeah. So we'll leave it there. Thank you guys for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.